The identities of three U.S. Marines who lost their lives in a plane crash during a military exercise in the Tiwi Islands have emerged. After the accident, 20 people on board were taken to the Royal Darwin Hospital, while three people, Corporal Spencer Collett, Major Tobin Lewis and Captain Eleanor LeBeau, the U.S. Naval Rotary Forces, headquartered Darwin, confirmed that three people are still in hospital. One critical condition. We are deeply saddened by the loss of three respected and loved members of the MRFD family, said Commander Colonel Brendan Sullivan. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families and everyone involved. We continue to focus on necessary support to the ongoing recovery and investigation efforts at this time. A memorial service was held in Darwin for the U.S. Marines who in a helicopter crash joining the Marine Corps in 2020. Collett was promoted to the rank of corporal this year. LeBeau enlisted in the Marine Corps in 2018, while Lewis had served since 2008. Survivors attended an overnight memorial service in Darwin, where wreaths were laid and candles were lit by the local RSL. Local residents, including Faye Smith, described the event as incomprehensible. It was such a terrible tragedy. It was the lives of so many young people. She said, Red Child Protection Police share the warning all parents should hear U.S. President Joe Biden said. Jill and I extend our deepest condolences to the families of the seafarers who lost their lives in this deadly accident. Said, We also pray for the injured. Red disgraced plumber goes to court over neighborhood sewer dispute their bodies have not been found yet. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said his heart and hearts of all Australians are with the families of sailors who lost their lives and those who were injured. We reach out American brothers and sisters at a time like this to express our condolences and determination continue working with them. He said. This is a difficult time for families, friends and all U.S. defense personnel. U.S. Ambassador to Australia Caroline Kennedy also released a statement yesterday. I spoke with Navy leaders on the ground informed them that our embassy consulates will continue to provide the support assistance they their families need. He said.